Hey guys, welcome back to Days Well Spent. In today's video, we're going to show you the process we used to set up our six barrel rain barrel catchment system. The video clips that you're going to see of the process of putting it together are some older clips there before we upgraded our camera and our mic system. But every time I post a picture to Instagram or in a Facebook group showing our rain barrel system, I get questions about it, how to set it up. So we figured we'd go ahead. We had some old clips that we'd recorded when we were setting the system up. And the clips are from when we were just doing a two barrel system. It worked so well, we liked it so much, we got some more barrels and now here in the backyard we've got six barrels. As you can see I've even got some five gallon buckets down here to catch the overflow. So our barrels are completely full which means we have 300 gallons here that we're going to be able to use throughout the summer. Usually just one good rain and all of the barrels are filled. The reason we went with this system instead of just one large barrel was for a couple of reasons. One of them just being room, but the biggest reason was if something happens to just one of our barrels, we're only going to lose 50 gallons of water. That means if one freezes and cracks, we just lose the one barrel that gets damaged. Um, whereas if you have all of your water in one huge cistern or reservoir, then you're going to lose all of your water. This also allows us to change tanks out, move them around to different locations, which is very convenient for us. As you can see, we've got it coming off of the roof. We've got this flexible downspout that diverts the water into our first barrel. We use this first barrel as sort of the um, first flush system. Then each of the barrels are connected with just some PVC pipe. Our barrels have two connectors in the back. So if you want to do a large system like this, you'll want to take a look before purchasing your barrels to make sure that they can be connected the way these barrels are. So once you get your barrel assembled, if you're hooking it up to a second barrel, we'll come around here to the back. and there'll be two tubes coming off of the back of the barrel and you'll need to remove this closed off section. Scott's already removed it from this first one. He's just using a hacksaw and sawing it off. So if you come around to the back of your barrel, you're gonna find these two overflow spouts and Scott's gonna explain to you how to set them up based on your configuration. So if you're only using one barrel, you're only gonna cut one of these off and then you're going to use a, uh, uh, a connector, a plumbing connector, to put maybe a PVC uh, uh, drain off of this to direct the water where you want it to go when, it, when the barrel over, you know, fills up and overflows. If you're going to hook this to another barrel, you have to cut two of them off, and one of them will become your overflow, and the other one will lead to your second barrel, so that when the water level comes up, it'll, it'll uh, uh, overflow into the other barrel. Now what you have to be careful of though is when, when you do this, the water barrel that you cut the two uh, overflows off of needs to be your last barrel and that will be where your uh, overflow comes out of. Your first barrel in the series you will only have one spout because you don't want it coming out. You want it to be able to push up and then push it over to the next barrel and then when that barrel fills up it will drain out. So we're just going to, I cut one of them off already, so we're just going to use the hacksaw, cut the second one off. So once you uh, just trim the, the, the real bad parts off, you can come out at it with sand, sandpaper and smooth it off even, even better so it's real clean. attaching your rain barrels together you're going to need to make sure that you've got a platform or a raised area for them that's going to allow you to connect your hose to the spout if it's down low it's also going to allow you to be able to get a bucket under there you want to make sure that your barrels barrels are level that's going to allow them to flow from one to the other what we got here is I've pre-cut the pieces 
and um, dry fit them onto the barrels. Uh, you're going to need a couple 90s. Uh, what, what that's going to do, it's going to allow you to put these two pieces together. This will connect the two barrels together so you overflow your water. As it overflows from one barrel, will go through the pipe and go into your next barrel. And then you're going to need some uh, coupling pieces for uh, attaching to the barrels on both sides. And then we'll go show you that next. So I'm going to go ahead and prime them and uh, get them glued together. And then we're going to end up painting ours before we uh, put it permanently onto the barrels. Just looks better. And just push until they're both laying level and now you're ready to install it onto the rain barrels. Okay, so now we're going to put our uh, overflow uh, onto our, our rain barrels and what we bought to do that is these uh, these couplers these are uh, one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch couplers because this is a one and a quarter inch fitting so we're going to put put that on there and, and tighten it on both sides first and then we're going to put our overflow in and you can find these couplings in the plumbing section of most hardware stores if you're not familiar with this type of project. Okay, then we're going to take our overflow and we're going to put it inside of that and work it in as far as we can go with it. Now you also may need to make sure that you have your barrels already set in place where they're going to stay because once these things fill up you're not going to move them. And once you have those in place where you want it, or all the way in, tighten that worm clamp. Some barrels may have a hose that you can put in between. It's just this style of barrel. This is the way that I had to make it work. So at this point, the rain's gonna come down your gutter system. It's gonna fill this barrel. Once it fills this barrel, it's gonna come through this PVC and into this barrel. At that point, it'll begin filling this up and you'll end up with two barrels filled. Next, we're gonna put our overflow on. Your overflow might be different. It depends on your configuration. If you want, you can just let it drop straight out the back, but um, we want to direct our water out and away from our porch. So we're doing the same thing. We're just using the worm clamps with the, uh, the coupling. And we'll slide it in there as far as we can get it. And tighten our worm clamp. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and we'd love it if you'd visit us over at dayswellspent.com. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button.